reporting for us. Goldie Steen said it still needs help with designs and so forth as it tries to move forward. It said it's going to look for mold makers and carbon fiber or steel fabricators expertise. Anybody interested can check out Goldie Miller Team USA Facebook page. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brightaggs. Good, good snow came down a little yeah. earlier tonight, wouldn't you say? Yeah, we had a uh, little more than an inch in some spots. We were quick nearly two inches. But I'm sure you noticed when you were out there that the road itself didn't take on the snow as quickly as if it was in the middle of January. And that's because of this time of year, the angle of the sun is higher in the sky, the UV rays themselves are a bit stronger because of the location of the sun. Even when it's cloudy and snowing out, those UV rays can get through and help warm up the pavement. Plus, since the beginning of March, we have had more days above freezing than below, and a lot of those days were in the 60s and 70s. So that has really helped to warm the ground up. When the snow fell, it didn't stick uh, right away. It was those grassy and elevated surfaces where we saw the snow. All right, let's take a look at our satellite and radar imagery. There is still a little bit of some snow falling, but the front is now pulling away, and the heavier snow is as well. Behind it, drier conditions. You can see in northwest Ohio into northern Indiana, but winds are shifting now out of the northwest. They are pretty gusty, too, and it's bringing in some colder air and will also bring in some flurries and light snow showers as we head into early on Saturday. Temperatures across the Miami Valley below freezing. We're at 26 in Urbana, 27 in Springfield. You can see Dayton right now currently sitting at 27 degrees. But when you factor in the winds, which if you were with us at the top of the newscast, you could hear on Molly Coick's microphone, it feels more like the teens right now. It feels like 16 in Urbana. It feels like 15 in Springfield. These wind chills will continue to drop through the night as the temperature does and the winds remain gusty. And by tomorrow morning, I expect those wind chills to be in the low single digits near zero for some of us. And tomorrow we are not expected to warm up. It's going to stay quite chilly throughout the entire day Saturday. All right, there's a look in Greenville. You can see we have um, quiet conditions out there. The roads themselves look pretty decent, even the sidewalk. It is where we have the snow on top of the grassy surfaces and on top of the cars um, that we did see the accumulation. So think about that when you get up early in the morning, that you're going to have to probably scrape off some of the ice off your windshield. So now through Saturday, might get an additional trace to a tenth or two tenths of an inch of snow. That will most likely be with some flurries or light snow showers that pass through overnight tonight because of the northwest winds bringing us that lake effect snow activity. Here's future cast snow showers ending, the heavy, steady snow, and then there come those flurries and snow showers drifting in from the north and west into early Saturday. There's 7.30 a.m. But winds will turn and we'll start to see drier weather by Saturday afternoon. Another quick little clipper system will slide back to our north on Sunday. Here's 8 a.m. Through lunchtime, that slight chance for a passing snow shower will be out there, quick burst of snow, and then by Sunday afternoon, we'll see the sunshine returning. Here's a quick look at our wind gusts through your Saturday. You can see gusting 20 to 30 miles per hour, some spots slightly higher, and that's why it's going to feel so much colder. On Saturday's high, 25 degrees, it will feel more like the teens. Sunday, we only reach a high in the middle 40s. It will be windy, though, so we keep wind chills around, feeling like the 30s for the afternoon. But good news is, here comes the warmth as we are getting into next week with highs back into the 60s to around 70 degrees by Thursday, and then a chance for a few showers are expected to return by Friday of next week. James. Very nice, McCall. Thank you. Across the state, some billboards show ads for the trans...